For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that Nagios PNP for Nagios the graphing service, which will show us a graphs uh, in the console. So it will collect the performance data and store into the graphs. Then it will show the name beautiful graphs. So let's install the um, required packages, which is uh, runs on the RRD tool. The data performance data will be stored in the RRD tool. So now install uh, m install RRD tool. So that is the package is required for dependency. Now install the dependent packages uh, m install and uh, Ruby. Uh, XORG 11 package uh, for the type 1 font and also install uh, PHP and XML uh, to avoid the later uh, errors so now run then the packages will be installed uh, let's go to the uh, PNF for Nagios download page and copy the URL then change the directory path to the temp and uh, duplicate and paste the url here so that the pnp for nagios package will be downloaded here so you can see that this is the path so i have provided these commands in the description uh, for to my github link you can just click on that description and go to the link and you can copy paste these commands if you want so now it's the package is downloading from the website so let's clear the screen now extract the tar file tar iphone xvf and pnf for nagios and now change the directory path to pnf for nagios then you have to run the dot slash configure file uh, with the uh, username as Nagios and the group name as NAGCMD and uh, the graphing tool is RRD tool. So with RRD tool equal to RRD tool slash user bin slash RRD tool. So if you want to know this path, so you can type which RRD tool which will be shown the RRD tool path. So now uh, with iPhone Nagios user. equal to Nagios and with Nagios group is going to be NAGCMD so that's the command so here instead of uh, iPhone I put the equal to here so just change that from equal to iPhone then run it So it will take a few minutes to run the uh, completion then make all then uh, you have to run this uh, make install so before running the make full install you have to run actually the installing the web configuration or installing the uh, initial script all this stuff so but I have run make full install uh, again we are going to run this uh, commands like the make uh, web config install so now run make install web config and uh, run again the make install config and run make install initiating the scripts will be initiated and uh, make full install so now going to edit the configuration file uh, the Nagios configuration file then we have to add the few directories so here you have to enable the few macros uh, in order to uh, enable this performance data to be uh, processed so now Let's look for um, 
process performance data from change from 0 to 1 and look for another macro which is enable environment macros equal to 1 so we have to change this value again 0 to 1 so make it 1 that's it and uh, go to the end of this file of the uh, nagios.cfg file and uh, we have to add the uh, bulk performance uh, configuration copy from the uh, pnp for nagios or from a github uh, configuration this just copy paste this uh, performance data files and those files now let's uh, check the status of the nagios and run the uh, verification so that you can to identify is there any errors on the configuration so you are the spelling mistake something like that so there is no errors and you have to reload the Nagio service so after that you have to uh, restart the Nagio service and uh, web configuration uh, web server as well so in order to take effect of these uh, configurations So now go back to the browser and open the URL so like uh, http slash slash IP address and slash PNP for Nagios. So now you can see that this is the default web page you can see that and you have to delete the default configuration uh, file the PHP file from the uh, there so that uh, it won't show that default configuration RMI for RF and paste that uh, file then it enter and go back to the console and see now refresh it you can see this so there is some uh, errors like you can see that deprecated something like that so now let's troubleshoot this uh, errors and uh, restore the console back okay so now uh, go back to the uh, Nagios uh, configuration file and add this URL for the Nagios graph now go back to the performance data and see there is no performance data is generated which says empty and uh, so this needs to be little bit troubleshooting based on the configuration we have done so now for now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add the URL uh, of that graphing uh, into the uh, local host so localhost.cfg and I'm just going to ping service and uh, add that definition here so the url definition so the action url so whenever i click on that action url it should redirect to my pnf for nachos uh, url so this is what the here so pnf for nachos graph and the host name and the service name so it will whenever i click it so it will be redirected to that uh, page and uh, save this configuration So actually you have to paste this for all of the uh, required services but one URL would be enough whenever you click on that it will automatically go to the page. So now clear and uh, verify the configuration of the Nagios is there any wrong, wrong and reload the Nagios configuration service you have to reload it then go back to the URL and see load the Nagios and go back to the services and click on that ping url so now you can see that again the similar issue but after troubleshooting we can able to see that the graphs will be populated so you can see that after few, uh, few troubleshoots you can see that all the graphs will be populated you can click on that services and see that and you can also filter with the uh, 4 hours, 24 hours until 365 days the graph will be stored based on the time periods there is a different different graph so you can see that and you can also generate the PDF uh, 
file for this one and you can also use this feature to automatically mail the performance data to the emails so now let's troubleshoot the issues let's see how we can uh, troubleshoot the pn3 not geos if few errors uh, i have um, captured while installing the pn3 uh, not geos uh, troubleshooting so let's uh, see that what are those error and solutions so, so basically if you want to verify the pnp for nagios um, installation is correct or not uh, so then you have to jump into the pnp for nagios folder under that there is a script scripts folder you have to go and uh, do on a listing of the files you can see that verify pnp config uh, version 2 uh, perl file then you have to use choose the mode which mode you would like to use so here in this case i use bulk mode and the configuration file is nagios file and the path of the uh, pnp for nagios is uh, this path so you have to run this command then it will verify the configuration and let you know that um, whether pnp for nagios is uh, installed and configured with the required configuration or not so in that uh, basically whenever i open the pnp for nagios uh, here so i got these messages that deprecated uh, php error something like that so for this what you have to do is that you can simply edit this file slash usr local pnp for nagios share applications lib json.php file and uh, you have to change this uh, from example line number 115 go here so from this you just had to add uh, underscore here and go to 789 and this um, uh, class you just add the underscore here and if you go to the 795 uh, uh, line number and there will be a uh, service template something like this so there is no underscore you just add the underscore here so this error message will be disappeared from the console so that is the one uh, solution for this going this deprecation uh, php errors so the later uh, if you run the command again so you can see that the command process service performance data is not defined something like this you will get this uh, error uh, which says the critical so you have to fix it then edit this uh, commands.cfg file on the configuration path then you have to define this both uh, uh, performing the service data file and uh, performing the host data file where it, it would uh, uh, store the performance data location you have to define this command and this command uh, will run the performance data so the next one is that um, whenever you get this one example the in the bulk mode these are the combinations is not allowed so we already defined the host performance data and the commands but this is not required here so that's why you have to comment this both the uh, directories from the nagios.cfg file so you have to edit this file and look for these strings and disable them so this is the error message whenever you run that verification you will get it so the next one is um, call to undefined undef function simple xml load file so you will get this error sometime like if uh, the php 7 or php is not installed with the xml so you have to install if it is an a centos version you have to install this uh, uh, m install php xml or if it is an a ubuntu version or something like that you have to install a ticket install php 7 iphone uh, xml file uh, that is the package you have to install if you get call to def uh, call to undefined function for simple xml load file so if you get this error message like the size of parameters must be an array or object that implements the countable so then you have to edit this uh, pnp for nagios uh, data.php file and the line number you have to go to here that uh, 979 and look for this string here so the if the size is page something like this and uh, change this comment this line and uh, add this line so he is an array 
and pages zeros pages something like this you have to add the array here so in between this lines then uh, restart the nagios uh, restart the web service and restart the nagios service so that you will get uh, all the issues will be resolved and you can able to see the pnp for nagios uh, graphs